It's time for new boat seats. Hey, if your boat seats look anything like mine do, then one of the easiest things you can do to upgrade your boat is just to put on new boat seats. My name's Randy, and I'm gonna show you how easy this project is. I got three new seats from Cabela's. I know they say Bass Pro Shops, but that's just because Bass Pro Shop owns Cabela's now. But they're the uh, low back seat. They're uh, one of the lower end seats. They're only, I think we got them for about $39 each. Pretty good deal anyway. They look nice. So I took this one out of the box here and they come with these little plastic protectors. It says to remove those for installation. And you just flip them over. Pretty simple, you got four screws on the bottom here. And they just screw on to your old uh, boat pedestal seats. Now I got three different types of boat pedestals, but that doesn't really matter because all you gotta do is worry about taking out those four screws underneath and the seat should pop right off. So I'll just kinda quickly show you how to do each one of these three because they're all a little bit different. All right, let's start with our very back seat. This one's probably the easiest because it's type that just slides right off the pedestal. You see it's just got a little spike there that just goes down inside of the boat pedestal there. And now uh, we got these four screws. One, two, three, four. Just pull those off and screw on the new seat. There's the screws that come out of it. This can be a little greasy, so yeah, watch out. There it is, there's our old seat. Here's the new seat and it actually has screws in it already, so we can use the ones that come with it. Keep those old ones for spares. Put that back on. Then before I tighten it down, I'm going to kind of line it up a little bit. Too critical here, just kind of want it in the middle as much as possible. So. Alright, it's got, it's got a few tags here if you don't want it, you can pull those off. These plastic corner pieces we can pull off, but really just go back on. Boom, new seat. These plastic corners, they're just just hold on by staples, just pull those off, they're kind of ugly. Alright, there we go. And in case it's too confusing, just open this up, you got some instructions. Alright, next seat. It's wrapped in plastic. Got that new car smell. <laughs> new boat smell. Alright, same deal. Let's pull off the screws and get it ready to go in. Alright, this seat has a little different pedestal on it, so not too difficult though. You gotta pull out the whole pedestal. You can see now, pull out the four screws like before, but kind of the whole pedestal stays attached. Now one difference with this one, see right there it says, it's hard to read, but it says front. So make sure that faces the front of the seat. Front, front of the seat, line it up and put in the screws. Plug it back in. Okay, this last boat seat, <laughs> it's a beauty. Kind of the same deal as the one we just did, but it doesn't uh, doesn't have the hydraulic up and down lift to it. So we'll just pull that one out and throw it in. All right, look at that, beautiful new boat seats. 
And the best part is, this whole job took me about five minutes to do. Now what's not going to take five minutes is my transom. I just got looking at swapping out my motor and I uh, realized my transom is toast. So you can look forward to seeing that one in an upcoming video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching.